How's it going everybody? I'm Levi with GLG Reptiles and today we're going to be doing another feeding video. So I'm also going to be telling you about what I got going on here and we're going to be talking about this roll of paper I have behind me. So guys if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and if you're already subscribed then welcome back. All right guys, so this is the new way I'm trying to thaw the rats. Um, don't know if you guys do this or know of anybody that does do this, but Hadley, my daughter was sweetheart and let me have her bucket uh, for the rats. So I've just got them stacked on top of the heater for the room. Um, and these coils on this heater are 160 and it ends up keeping the rats just perfect. It's it's kind of insane, really, how well it works. Um, so that's what we're trying to do with the rats. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, and then as far as the paper, guys, this is the new paper we're using. And this is from Lowe's. Um, it's just called contractor paper, I think. Um, I think people use it for, like, you know, they put it on floors and things with their paintings so floors don't get dirty and all that good stuff. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. You know, I'm not really a contractor, so I don't really use contractor paper. But it's, I just really like it. Um, it's nice and thick, you know, and more thickness means more absorbency, really. So whenever they pee on this, it should be taken care of a lot better than whenever they were peeing on the, the newspaper. But, and no ink. No ink, guys. That's That's the huge huge thing with it so I really like it for that reason but we only have it in with the desert ghost and the ultra male at the moment so none of these other ones have have it at the time or at this time but uh but yeah so you'll see it whenever we feed all right so because the inchy pastel clown missed oh rats uh missed eating last week we're going to try to feed him first um, just to give him a, a shot here. And guys, we're also going to be doing an update video on the rats. Um, and this guy right here was trying to eat last week. We just couldn't really get him to grab, get a good bite. So maybe this week it'll go a little better for him. I'm just going to kind of try to leave this. Come on, buddy. food man smell it okay well we'll just come back to him here in a bit try him out again um, I'm just gonna slide this on over here to the albino and she is deep in shed right now guys but hopefully still wanting to eat job girl good job all right so this is the VPI Xanthix meal and our bigger girls have not really been eating well for us here lately she always looks ready though Never fails that she looks ready. Mm. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, got another one stuck on the tub. Okay. We're going to try to not get our hand into a, a coil here. we got her loose yeah there we go okay girl get on in there there you go all right good deal good deal good to see her eat for sure um so next up is the ultra male and if she does as well as the exanthic just did then that would be fantastic to say the least all right so here's the ultra male's meal um she's also getting a medium rat looks like she's also very interested in her medium rat maybe let's just see oh yeah and there's the new paper forgot that she had the new paper in there So I really don't want to get another snake coiled up around the edge of the tub. That's two weeks in a row that's happened to me. There we go, get back in here. Let's get inside the tub and eat. She actually looks really good on that brown paper. She just might eat. Maybe, maybe. Maybe not. Really wish she would. And if she doesn't eat, it's okay. I mean, you can look at this girl and tell that she is she's healthy. You know, it's not like she's losing weight or anything like that. Yeah, I think she's just curious. I wish she would eat, though. They make me really happy. These rats. They're so loud. Whenever I film. It's either if if I'm filming they're loud or if I'm trying to sleep they're loud because they're just like one room away from my bedroom. So you can actually hear them. And she just might take this. It'd be really nice if she did. I'm actually just gonna. I had her eat for me one time just doing this right here. Whenever I was hanging it over her head, she wouldn't mess with it. But then as soon as I started doing this, for some reason, it just really made her tag it. Not really sure what it is about it, but still figuring it all out. That's for sure. I'm learning. The snakes are learning. I don't guess snakes are learning. This is thousands and thousands and thousands of years of them knowing exactly how to survive. Okay, well, we're just going to lay it there for you, girl. Do something with it, please. Mm -hmm. Alright, so next up is the Desert Ghost. And we will probably get struck out by the Desert Ghost. It kind of Kind of never fails. Um, so let's uh, let's get their rat ready or her rat ready. 
and we'll offer it up to her. Alright guys, so here comes the desert ghost. Um, I think I'm just going to try to pull her tub out kind of quick this time. <laughs> try to catch her off guard. I don't know if I can do it or not. Well, she didn't even come out at us. Yeah, she's got the new paper in there as well. This is the first week in a long time she hasn't like come out attacking us. I wish all my snakes ate like her. My goodness. She just does not mess around. That's for sure. Alright guys, well, this week definitely went better than last week. Um, had three out of five eat instead of two out of five. So definitely a definitely a big boost. Um, so with the Inchi Pastel Clown, I've, I've thought about it. Um, I'm just, I think in a day or two, I'm going to let him kind of chill out from this. I'm going to leave a, one of the pups in there overnight. Um, and then probably tomorrow or the next day, pro I'll probably give him a couple days just to chill. Um, and then go get him an actual live little mouse hopper. Um, and offer it up to him. I, I don't like doing that. I don't enjoy it really. But you know, if that'll get him kick started here, that's it's what we had to do with the leopard lavender albino. Um, and a lot of times, you know, these snakes will come from breeders, and they're just used to live, you know, and that's it's just part of it. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll probably just do that with him. Offer him alive just for his first feeding here, and then just try to throw him back on to. Frozen thought offer that again to him. Maybe that'll entice him a little bit to, to eat that better for us. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. We're, we're doing weekly videos. That way you'll know every time I post, um, you can check out the new video. But guys, hope you enjoyed it. Again, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.